Hello, my name is Kushal and today I will explain how you can connect to any Azure SQL database. There are different ways that you can use to connect to any Azure SQL database. Some of the very common methods are listed here. I am going to explain all of the methods that are mentioned in this list. You can follow this article if you want more help with the steps. Also you can copy some scripts that I will use in the video. I will leave the link for the article in the description box. So let us continue with the methods. The first method is to connect to Azure SQL database from Azure portal. I have opened the Azure portal in my browser. I have also created a database and I will connect to this database from the Azure portal. So the first step is to navigate to the database. This is my database that I have created. Click on query editor. You can use either of the authentication methods. You can use either the SQL server authentication or you can also use the Active Directory authentication. So for this demonstration, I will use the SQL Server authentication. And let's see, yes, we are connected to database. You can see here the tables, views and stored procedures. So that was all about how you can connect to the Azure SQL database using the Azure portal. The second method is using the SQL Server Management Studio. This is the most common IDE that we use to connect to any SQL Server database. So let us see how we can connect to the Azure SQL database using the SQL Server Management Studio. When you open the SQL Server Management Studio, it asks you to connect to any SQL Server. You can directly connect from here or if you are not getting this option, you can just click on connect database engine and enter the login credentials and login into the database. In the server name, you have to use the name of the server. If you don't know the server name, you can just go to the Azure portal. Go to your database. And here you can see the server name. Click here to copy this. And paste it into the server name. Type your login credentials. And click on connect. Now you can see you are connected to the Azure SQL database. You can click on databases and you can see your database is listed here. So this is the way you connect to the Azure SQL database using the SQL Server Management Studio. In the Visual Studio, first of all, you have to install the SQL Server tools. For installing them, in the search box, you can just type install SQL Server tools. I have already installed the SQL Server tools, so I'm not getting this option but you will get this option and just click on install. Once you have installed the SQL Server tools, you can just click on view SQL Server Object Explorer and it will open the SQL Server Object Explorer for you. After that, you can just right click on the SQL Server, add SQL Server and here you can type the server information like server name and the authentication methods. So I have already told you how to copy the server name just paste it here. Type the username and password. The username for my database is Azure Admin. Let me enter the password. And just click on connect. So in the object explorer, you can see that you have connected to the Azure SQL database. You can expand this instance and see the objects in the database. You can see that your Azure SQL database is listed here. So this is the way how you connect to any Azure SQL database using the Visual Studio. Let us discuss the next method now, which is connect to Azure SQL database from Azure Data Studio. When you install the SQL Server Management Studio, the Azure Studio comes with it. In the Azure Data Studio, you can just click on new, new connection, type the server name, and select the authentication as SQL login. Type the username and password for your database. And click on connect. It will take some time. You can see your database here. And you can explore your database from this explorer window. You can explore your database from here. This is the way you connect to any Azure SQL database using Azure Data Studio. Now let us discuss how we can connect to the Azure SQL database using PowerShell. 
keep in mind to run windows powershell as an administrator because we are going to install some modules that we will need to connect to the database so there are mainly two modules that you will need to install the first one is the az module which is used to manage the azure resources from command line generally we manage the azure resources from the azure portal but if you want to manage the azure resources from command line you can use this module to install this az module just type this command in the windows powershell and execute it i have already installed the az module so i will not install this again the second module is the sql server this module is required for executing sql server queries to install this module type this command in the windows powershell and execute it i have already installed it so i will not install it again once you have installed the necessary modules the next step is to connect the windows powershell to the microsoft azure account so type this command in the powershell let me just copy it and paste it and click enter sign in with your account now we are connected to the azure account let me just verify the connection again copy this command and paste it into the powershell in my case the resource group name is group azure so i will copy this and paste it into the powershell and click enter here the information about my azure sql server is displayed this means i have connected to my azure sql server successfully now let us execute a simple select query have a look at this code first of all we are importing the az.sql module then we are setting up the parameters the first four parameters that is server name database name username and password are used to authenticate to the database and the query contains the select query that we are going to execute on our database and in the last step we are executing the query using the invoke sql cmd command we can copy this code into the notepad and change the server and database information i have already done this so i will just copy this and paste it into the powershell it is taking some time and you can see the results of the select query in this way you connect the windows powershell to the azure sql database hope you find this video informative thank you